Hello everyone and in this video I will show you how to create something like this video with Midjourney 5.2. As you know the Midjourney updated recently and now you can available to make a zoom F stay here and I will show you a few tips how you can change your prone each time when you press zoom out in Midjourney. So every time you will get different surrounding around your previous image okay let's talk about the image sequence we generate with midjourney the first way you can just press zoom out two times again and again and it works with the same prompt with your initial prompt each time but there is much more interesting and creative way for that you need to press custom zoom and here you can change your prompt each time so the feeling around when you zoom out uh, will be different not uh, very similar to original one or to original prompt but different uh, feeling around this image when you zoom okay let's look at this i added here nightclub dance party and neon and you can see it looks really like a nightclub or another variation and then you can press again custom zoom next time i added some reflection in the mirror and it tried to add a mirror but it looks like a frame of picture here something like mirror but not exactly what i wanted okay then i just zoom out and with custom zoom you can see here i added exterior of ghost museum with opening door and nightclub signage and you can see everything i typed here on the image so uh, that's because i used the custom zoom and how it works on another variation Midjourney gives me something like this metal gates and it looks like the gates of the graveyard or something like this so i use this uh, midjourney help uh, in another custom zoom and you can see here i edit in the prompt the ghost graveyard with dry trees and midnight and that's because midjourney gives me an idea and i just evolve with this idea but i also removed uh, the creatures uh, the monsters from my prompt so i no need more monsters i want just to get this graveyard okay the next step we use uh, photoshop to upscale our images to get 8090 resolution full hd uh, for this better to use the actions in photoshop windows actions and I found it here press plus some name and image image size and just upscale it a bit okay that's that's now and here you can see the preserve details uh, this resample mode you need to use this to save all your details because you can see without this uh, there is some noise but with this resample mode we have the nice upscaler okay press ok and we have the first action but another action we need to save it okay create the folder press ok and then just close up in the window you can find these actions and press stop okay that's done open your another image and just press this action again and again
okay let's use after effects or you can use another editing software if you have experience create a new composition full hd 60 frame per second 15 seconds long and then just import all your image sequence into this composition place it in a row from uh, beginning to the end and then just select the time for each image you want i want uh, like two seconds for each image so then i just move this here and press alt and this button to cut all these layers up to two seconds then press s for scale animation go to the beginning here and press uh, this keyframe and go to the end press o and animate it two times like in mid journey we have two times zoom out so here we just animate 200 percent for all these layers okay next step we need to add some gaussian blur for all the layers except the last one so select this one and the gaussian blur go to the beginning and something like 4 or 3.5 and then just move it a bit like half of second and animate it to zero that's uh, what we need also for smooth animation between all the layers between all the images so now go to the beginning and select this gaussian blur ctrl c and just copy it to another layer and again and again and again okay that's all we have all these layers now i starting usually from the end of the video but you can start in another way if you want but better to follow my steps okay press o to move to the end of the layer selected layer so you can see o we move to the end of this layer and then press press this button again o okay select the next layer this button o again and again okay now you can see we have the seamless animation from the end to the beginning like we have zoom in effect but sometimes we have this glitch and that's how it works uh, sometimes we have a glitches and i will show you how to fix this to fix this glitch we need to select the layer go to the and beginning of this layer press i button and open the position parameter animation press this keyframe go to the end press o and just adjust this y position something like this maybe Okay, we, we are very close. Delete this keyframe and try again. Okay, we have very smooth. Looks like smooth, maybe not super perfect. But anyway, and we have the this glitch again here so we need to fix this again for another layer okay now it looks smooth and select all these layers and press precompose and 
then select and press time, time reverse layer, and write common. And just look at this. We have uh, this different. And now we can uh, just change this. Something like uh, this. We go to the three seconds and then go here and just make it a bit bigger a bit more bigger okay now it looks perfect and very smooth okay i want to show you one additional tip uh, like light flickering effect go to the layer new adjustment layer and cut this layer a bit and then just add brightness effect to this adjustment layer and click uh, with alt button press alt button and click to this brightness and type wiggle 50 and 150 and now we can see this light flickering for some horror effect don't forget to follow my telegram channel where i share you with you uh, some explorations from Midjourney showcase page and with some nice images artists and prompts